Hello? Between 1914 and 1918, the world plunged into a conflict unlike any seen before. We call it World War I. It was a truly global war. The fighting raged across Europe. It spilled over into Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. Millions of soldiers and civilians lost their lives. Empires crumbled. The world was forever changed. The scale of the devastation was difficult to comprehend. Entire landscapes were scarred by trench lines. New technologies like machine guns and poison gas led to unimaginable casualties. The world watched in horror. How could this happen? What led to this terrible war? To understand World War I, we must look back at the years leading up to it. Europe in the early 20th century was a powder keg waiting to explode. Tensions were high between the great powers. These countries were like rival predators, each eyeing the other with suspicion. One major source of tension was militarism. Countries were locked in an arms race. They were building up their armies and navies at an alarming rate. Each nation wanted to be stronger than its rivals. Another factor was the complex web of alliances that entangled the European powers. These alliances were like promises of support, but they also created a dangerous domino effect. If one country went to war, it could drag its allies in with it. The event that lit the fuse of World War I took place in Sarajevo, Bosnia, on June 28, 1914. Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, was assassinated along with his wife. The assassin was a Serbian nationalist. Austria-Hungary blamed Serbia for the assassination and issued an ultimatum with harsh demands. When Serbia failed to meet all of the demands, Austria-Hungary declared war. Within weeks, the alliance system kicked in. Germany, allied with Austria-Hungary, declared war on Russia and France, who were allied with Serbia. Great Britain, allied with Russia and France, soon joined the war after Germany invaded neutral Belgium. World War I had begun. The early stages of the war were marked by a series of swift offensives. Germany, with its Schlieffen plan, aimed for a quick victory by knocking France out of the war before Russia could fully mobilize. However, the plan faltered. The war on the Western Front bogged down into a bloody stalemate. Soldiers on both sides found themselves trapped in a nightmarish new form of warfare, trench warfare. Hundreds of miles of trenches stretched across France and Belgium. These trenches were muddy, rat-infested and deadly. Soldiers lived in constant fear of enemy fire, disease and the horrors of trench foot. Section 5. New Technologies, Unprecedented Carnage. World War I saw the introduction of new technologies that revolutionized warfare. Machine guns, poison gas, tanks and airplanes made their debut on the battlefield. While these advancements promised to break the stalemate, they also resulted in unprecedented levels of carnage. Machine guns could mow down advancing troops with terrifying efficiency. Poison gas, first used by the Germans, added a new element of terror to the battlefield. The effects of chlorine gas were particularly horrifying, causing slow and agonizing deaths. Before we continue, if you're finding this deep dive into World War I insightful, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell. Your support helps us bring you more fascinating stories from history. Tanks, while initially unreliable, offered a potential solution to the deadlock of trench warfare. Airplanes still in their infancy were primarily used for reconnaissance and dogfights, but their role in bombing raids would grow in the years to come. As section 6, America joins the fray. For the first few years of the war, the United States remained neutral. However, several factors drew America closer to the conflict. One was Germany's unrestricted submarine warfare, which targeted civilian ships, including the British passenger liner Lusitania, sunk in 1915 with the loss of over 1,000 lives, including 128 Americans. Another factor was the Zimmerman Telegram, a secret diplomatic cable intercepted by British intelligence. The telegram revealed Germany's attempt to entice Mexico into an alliance against the United States. This, combined with continued attacks on American shipping, pushed the United States to declare war on Germany in April 1917. The entry of the United States into the war tipped the balance in favor of the Allies. Fresh American troops and resources poured into Europe, boosting morale and bolstering the Allied war effort. 
Section 7. The war ends, a new world begins. By 1918, after more than four years of brutal warfare, both sides were exhausted. Germany, facing dwindling resources and mounting casualties, was on the verge of collapse. The arrival of American troops had bolstered the Allies, who launched a series of successful offensives. On November 11, 1918, Germany, facing imminent defeat, signed the armistice. The guns fell silent on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. The world rejoiced. The Great War, as it was known, was finally over. The Paris Peace Conference convened in 1919 to negotiate the terms of the peace treaties. The Treaty of Versailles, signed with Germany, imposed harsh penalties on the defeated nation. Germany was forced to accept blame for the war, cede territory, disarm and pay heavy reparations. These punitive measures would have far-reaching consequences in the years to come. Section 8. Scars of War World War I left an indelible mark on the world. Millions lay dead, empires crumbled, the political landscape of Europe was redrawn. The war had profound social, economic and psychological effects on both victors and vanquished. The war also shattered the illusion of progress and rationality that had characterized the pre-war era. The horrors of the trenches, the unprecedented loss of life and the use of chemical weapons left deep scars on the human psyche. World War I was a tragedy of immense proportions a conflict that forever changed the course of human history. It serves as a stark reminder of the devastating costs of war and the importance of diplomacy, understanding and peace. Let us hope that humanity has learned from the mistakes of the past and that we can build a future free from the scourge of war.